Hi lovelies and welcome to another video on witchcraft tips and tricks for sustainable, affordable and nature-bound witching. Today I want to show you some ways on how to work with herbs, specifically how to burn herbs for magical purposes and spells and how to work scent magic. We will discover multiple ways to smoke cleanse, learn about smoke-free alternatives, how to incorporate herbs into your practice as a green witch, and learn more about why and how herbs are burned in witchcraft or for spiritual purposes. I will also share little herbal blend recipes with you for different magic spell purposes like self-love, tranquility, cleansing, relaxation, happiness and energy. But let's first talk about the whys of burning herbs in witchcraft. There are multiple reasons why we burn herbs. The most common one would probably be to cleanse negative energy. Another very traditional and old way of burning herbs is to free your mind and thoughts and get into a more spiritual headspace. Depending on the culture, this was often achieved by actually smoking hallucinogenic plants. As we know from alternative medicine and specifically aromatherapy, herbs and scents also have the ability to evoke certain sensations, lift our moods, relax our mind and body and help us regulate emotions. So we also use herbs in this way to alter our physical and psychological state or that of others by evoking or banning certain feelings. And last but not least, burning certain herbs is also used in sacred ritual as offerings to a deity in remembrance of our ancestors or when working with spirit. If we look back, herbs have throughout all cultures and traditions been a very important part of spirituality, healthcare and religious beliefs. The smudging rituals of Native Americans, burning kiffy balls in Egypt, the use of frankincense for cleansing in Arabia, Kodo ceremonies in Japan, burning of magical Neunerlei herb bouquets of the Alpine countries, to herbal rites of the ancient European pagan tribes. Herbs have medicinal healing powers, are through folklore associated with certain ailments, deities, spirits or stories, and many of them are true superfoods too. In witchcraft we can use herbs in various forms, in spell jars, smoke blends, kitchen witch recipes, salves, sprinkled throughout the house, magical self-care products, natural medicine, offerings and much much more. But when burning herbs, we mostly focus on the magical properties as well as the effects they have on our mood and soul, and less on their medicinal benefits for health. Personally, I try not to buy herbs and resins at all, if I can avoid it. The natural world is full of them. I do encourage you to do your own research and learn about plants and trees in your area and how they were traditionally used or what their medicinal and magical properties are. This will also teach you more about the history and culture of the place you live and you might discover some deeper roots to your own magic. When it comes to smoke cleansing, a lot of people seem to only be familiar with a ubiquitous sage stick. However, this might not be everybody's cup of tea and might not even be possible for everybody. If you live somewhere that doesn't allow you to have smoke fill your home or if you suffer from a respiratory disease. There are many, much more pleasant options out there. Wax melts, or how we Germans call them so elegantly, smoky pralines, are a fantastic tool if you would like to make use of the aromatherapeutic or magical benefits of certain herbs without the scent being too overpowering and without actually inhaling smoke. This is especially great if you have a scent sensitivity as you can dosage the intensity of fragrance in your wax smells fairly easily. This method is also great to subtly aid and strengthen intention for certain moods around your home. Plus, you can reuse the wax until the fragrance disappears. It is fairly easy to make your own wax melts. All you need is beeswax or soy wax and the blossoms, resins, wood sparks, oils or herbs of your choice. For example, if you would like to make a blend to evoke happiness and elevate your soul, you could grind sweet woodruff, St. John's wort and resin from a large tree into a fine powder. 
Then melt the wax on the stove. Once it is liquid, we pour the herbs in and mix everything together, adding our intention into it as well. Then we pour it into little silicon molds and let it cool down. These little DIY wax melts can be heated over an aroma diffuser. By the way, all measurements and ingredients for the suggested herbal blend can be found in the description box below. A similar method to this would be to straight up use essential oils in a diffuser. Diffusing essential oils is often done in aromatherapy and can also aid your personal magic and spiritual goals. It is probably one of the easiest options as it requires nothing more than some oil and a candle. For relaxation purposes you might for example want to diffuse some drops of lavender oil before going to sleep. Burning herbs over a candle in a metal sieve is a fantastic alternative if you can't tolerate any smoke at all. The herb is here not directly burning, but only gets placed over a hot candle flame. This leads to the plants releasing their scent into the air, a wonderful, mellow and subtle way to burn herbs for magical purposes. You could even do it at your desk in office or in a household with pets or little kids. Something that is not advised for many of the other methods. Similar to the wax melts, this is also a great option if you are somewhat sensitive to scent, as the fragrance is very light. You can use both dried and fresh ingredients to burn in the sieve. I personally try to avoid burning resin over a candle flame, as it will make the sieve sticky when it melts. You can either place aluminium foil underneath it, or if you forget, and your sieve gets very sticky, you can just burn it off in a hot candle flame and then clean it with a brush. I love to use this method for spells and rituals that require a subtle scent component to awaken certain feelings and emotions. Here is my personal favorite floral blend for self-love. Rose petals, orange peel, hibiscus and cardamom pots. Now we want to look a little bit more into smoke cleansing, so let's start with the most commonly used item for it. The cleansing stick other times referred to as smudge stick, even though that term should only be used when talking about the Native American practice. A lot of times sage will be used, as this is an herb that is spread throughout the world and part of many old traditions, with sage being said to have strong cleansing and healing abilities. But of course you can make a smoke stick or what I prefer to call it a smoke bouquet with any other plant too. And it is also not only limited to cleansing energy, you can use different herbs, plants and flowers with certain correspondences and use it for whatever purpose you like. If you for example would like to have a floral smoke bouquet to cleanse your house of negative energy while inviting in joy and positivity, you could try this mixture. Gather lemon balm, sage, mace and lemon queen blossoms or any other sort of small sunflower variety. Make sure all ingredients are dried if you're planning on making a bigger bundle or if you're making a small one that can thoroughly dry while it is bound together, you can also use fresh ingredients. Arrange the plants and then tie them all together with a natural fiber string. Once it has dried, you can light it while fanning the smoke in all corners of your house yourself or the object you would like to cleanse and bring positivity. When working with actual smoke, the windows should be open to let everything out and make sure there are no pets and kids in the room. It is also advisable to hold something underneath the smokestick so that ashes don't fall onto the floor and cause damage. Many people choose the convenience of burning incense as this does not require to store multiple herbs and you can buy them cheaply. However, many incense are made with cheap and toxic ingredients and can actually be more harmful than helpful to you. So always be very careful where you purchase them from. Or even better, make your own. Here I want to share my personal recipe for little DIY incense cones with you that I designed to bring harmony and peace into the home. We first want to grind up charcoal. About 50% of the material used should be charcoal or wood. So I use charcoal and apple bark. Then we can add about 35% herbs, 
and here I chose meadow sweet and 50% resin for which I used frankincense. We take some gum arabic and let it sit in water for an hour or so, then add in a bit of honey and our herbal mixture. Pour in your intentions and then you need to knead this mixture very well and can form it into tiny currents. They will need a couple of days to dry and then we can use them. Remember to check the description box for exact measurements. Another way to burn herbs that will deliver some smoke is to do so directly on a charcoal. This method is most commonly used in Arabic and European culture to smoke plants. In former times this was done by placing herbs on the embers of burning wood. Nowadays you can buy designated charcoal taps. For that you can light the charcoal and wait until it has properly heated throughout. Once you can see a fine white layer on top, you can place your herbs, resins or woods on it. Don't forget to fan it and occasionally push the material off the coal to replace it with new one so it doesn't start to smell unpleasant. Also here you can use both fresh and dried ingredients. If you are interested to learn more about the European pagan traditions of collecting, using and burning herbs for witchcraft spells protection and blessings, and hear lots of interesting tidbits on ancient folk magic, don't forget to subscribe as I will be talking more about that topic during the Yuletide, also known as the Magical Raunechte, the most important time of the rural year for smoke cleansing rituals and oracle. A word of warning when smoke cleansing or the general use of incense sticks. Both will produce lots of particulate matter and that is in fact similar in its health risks to smoking a cigarette. So neither of the two belong around small children or pets or should be done on a regular basis. Personally, I will as often as possible choose smokeless alternatives and save my proper smoke rituals for the Yuletide. Another great smokeless alternative for cleansing with herbal magic is to make intention-infused cleansers or room sprays. I will be uploading a video on that soon as it is a great tool for any cottage witch. And as a cottage witch I love to work with scent in my home to infuse each room with a different energy and atmosphere. Inviting love, peace, tranquility and positive communication in. My favorite way to do so, especially during the colder time of the year, is with a simmer pot. This is somewhat like a liquid potpourri. You just gather different fragrant ingredients, herbs, spices or fruit and then cover them with water. This can now simmer on the stove or even better on a tea warmer with a couple of candles underneath and will spread its olfactory magic throughout your house. If you'd like to see how to make a simmer pot for an energy boost and brightness in your home, check out the witch vlog video linked above. Infused candle or scent candles can combine two magical practices. That of using herbs and green witchcraft and candle magic. In my Beltane video I am showing you how to craft a candle for fertility and I have linked you the video just above and down below in the description box. Now if you would like to use multiple of these options for working with herbs and scents, you can of course invest in a separate device for every purpose. However, if you're living minimalistic or you just don't want to spend so much money, you can also just get something like this incense burner or oil diffuser. With just some simple arrangements, you can transform it into any kind of incense burner you might need. The link to it can be found in the description box below. So these were my tips on how to work with scent magic and different alternatives for burning herbs like a green witch. I would be interested to know if you work with herbs or scent too and how you incorporate them into your practice. Let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this topic. This was hashtag 21 days till you. Check out the hashtag to discover more creators for holiday cheer and I will see you tomorrow, either here or over on Instagram. Have a wonderful day and see you soon!